Have you been married for so long, trying to achieve a pregnancy or trying to nurture a baby from day one till birth? Listen to this. Welcome back to my channel. This is Esther Riyalu. Okay, and today I'll be discussing an important topic. How to know your fertile period, how to achieve pregnancy and not your pregnancy to time. We need to understand our body. That's the first thing. Not minding what we have been told about our parents, most especially our mother, that anytime a man meets you, you get pregnant instantly. That is a big lie. An optimal woman fertility. The first step is taking good care of your body. Most important thing is to understand your body, specifically your menstrual circle and your ovulation circle it's important to know your circle accurately and just knowing when to plan for intercourse and i will be teaching us some steps we need to take to achieve conception or to achieve pregnancy the first step is record your menstrual circle frequently when you have regular circle you have your menstrual circle the same month of the days apart in every month that means it is a regular menstrual circle and when it's come in different days definitely it is an irregular circle the woman egg is only fertile for 12 to 24 hours but the sperm is um, viable for about five days after its release but you need to monitor your ovulation for a regular menstrual circle you ovulate two weeks before the next circle we have several methods to check if you are actually ovulating. We have the calendar method when you understand your own menstrual phase and it is regular. You can actually calculate 14 days before the next menstrual cycle. That is one. Two is the ovulation kit and um, text kit. You use the test kit every just like the um, PT. You urinate on it. And what is the test kit testing? It's testing um utilizing hormone in your urine rising hormone as a surge in your in the urine immediately or before the release of an egg immediately you, you test for positive you need to have sex for three consecutive days after that test to achieve pregnancy the last one is cervical mucus test you check your discharges from your vj then the cervical mucus that makes you know that you're ovulating is more thinner more slippery and more clear in the end whereby you can stretch it and it's, it's, it's stretchable a little bit just like egg whites the third one is having sex every other day or possibly every day in your ovulatory window period vitamins you need multivites and vitamins for you to boost your body system for the baby to come so you need to take folic acid four micrograms of folic acid every day and some other motivates like vitamin b co to help you prepare your body you get too fat or when you get too slim as its own disadvantages you need to have a regular body weight that is you need a standard bmi to achieve pregnancy when one is too fat it's um, increases estrogen level in the body thereby inhibiting ovulation and when somebody is too slim the person might not have a regular menstrual phase or might not even ovulate at all those things might hinder you from getting pregnant eating healthy food there are some foods that help you to boost ovulation i'm going to mention that at the end of this video treat any form of infection either it is malaria uti urinary infection sexually transmitted infection pelvic inflammatory disease throat infection any kind of infection you need to be sure or thyroid or malaria you need to be sure that you are um, not infected in any form well, another important fact is cutting down strenuous exercise cut down some workouts and exercises some strenuous job that might hinder you from achieving pregnancy or conception lastly is knowing when to seek help you need to know when to seek help when you have actually consistently have unprotected intercourse with your partner for a good six months without achieving pregnancy or let me say for a good whole year without achieving pregnancy then you need to see a gynecologist as a lady you also need to see an health practitioner to actually know do some tests to carry out some hormonals if there if it's an hormonal imbalance if it is a low sperm count there are other infections responsible you mentioned some fruits that we need to take to boost our ovulation notes 
this might not work for everybody because you know we have different body more you can try this out it is not an harmful thing to try it is not an harmful food but it has its own nutritional benefits number one is taking ginger ginger is an anti-inflammatory it will subsidize any kind of inflammation and people that suffer from pcox or endometriosis is kind of an inflammation in the uterus that causes that and might not in might hinder them from ovulating or might, might destroy their ovulation period so when you take ginger you add ginger to your food helps you to use any inflammatory process in your system another one is okra okra has some different nutritional substance so how do you use that you can get five like five fingers of okra from the market wash it very neat cut them into um, fewer pieces that is five fingers cut it into four soak it into normal water like this add it to it cover it and leave it for 24 hours then drink it for three days when do you have to drink it you have to drink it after your menstrual period either it is three days or it is five days drink it after a menstrual period on an empty stomach every morning when you wake up add testimonies from this another is clove clove is so volatile it has a lot of nutrients that we might not even think of i will mention that below the description box the importance of clothes and some other things i've mentioned get nice clothes then wash it get to get rid of the dust from the clothes tight container pour your cable water into it then add your clothes into it leave it for 20, 12 to 24 hours then you take the water it also boosts your ovulation see that i mentioned there are some fruits that are so volatile that you need so combine to boost the ovulation with and make a mixture of egg raw egg with banana it has a nutritional benefit two pairs of banana one egg same milk and you can also add avocado um, fruit blend them together then you can take a cup after your menstrual period i think this video would help you we or the other to help you boost and achieve pregnancy if you have any questions please leave below the subscribe kindly subscribe give the video a thumbs up and please share with family and friends bye